And here we are, another game of Rocket League and another goal from Christian. Another goal from Christian. I feel like that's the theme of the day. It's just non-stop with this guy, and he's just so This calm. guy. Yeah, I mean, that's what I call him when I see him. I say it's <laughs> this guy again. Uh, but in any case, seven seconds in, already one on the board. Harrisburg University, however, this team, they are not sludges. I know that for a fact. So while the Saints are having a lot of success right now and they're doing great in that first seven seconds, things can change very drastically. Things can change at the drop of a hat. But it looks like they're not going to drop the ball this time. They started things off with a goal. I mean, how else? Do you want to start things off? I mean, you want to start things off with a goal in the first seven seconds and a nice, beautiful save from Christian once again. And to shine the spotlight off of Christian, the golden boy, let's take a look over at what the rest of his teammates are doing. Barris is already in the pocket, no boost, and he doesn't even matter. He's able to sweep that ball away and prevent them from reorienting into a perfect position, forcing them to make a messy play. And I feel like even things like that, plays like that, go so far in affecting, believe it or not, the macro of Rock League. Yeah, I know there's, there's macro in this game. There's a lot of things the teams are doing to set themselves up for success in the long term. It's not just shoot the ball into the net. And I feel like Barris does a great job of disrupting the enemy team's uh, macro attempts as well as setting up his own. No, and I would even ask, go as far to say as there's micro in this game. I mean, yeah. just think about everything, every level, level, every little bump matters. It all butterfly effects out, especially with a huge demo like that from Decorel there. I cannot believe that the Saints are keeping up such overwhelming pressure and getting a 2-0 against Harrisburg University two minutes in. Beautifully done, Barris, with a nice shot all the way from the other side with Christian just send the goalie right out. I'm sorry, that was really funny to see you get in the reach. Send him out of there. He just flicked him out and then the goal just goes their way. Again, the Saints doing such a great job working in tandem. I can only imagine how clean their comms are right now in terms of synchronizing their uh, efforts and kind of coming together in the end. Saints now 2-0 against Harrisburg University and that's a good position to be in. If only they can maintain it, they'll be having a great time. We'll be having a grand old time. Chris Christian making an uh, absolute blitz towards this other net. Barris trying to find an opening once again. They're just keeping up the offensive pressure on Harrisburg, not letting them have the light of day and not letting them get even chance to set something up. Trying to negate any plans before it's even possible. To corral here, that ball like a hawk, waiting for his moment to strike Polder. Going to be trying to set something up for his team, but can't quite find it up in the air. It's going to be a, thought it was going to be a 50, but no. Fesh is even the one blocking that one out. The corner once again in the pocket needs to clear. Barris gets disrupted, but luckily his teammate Christian is there to pick up the pieces. Yeah, and Barris doing a nice job of tipping this one off, preventing it from being set up perfectly. Again, disrupting the plans of Harrisburg University. Fesh on the sidelines, drifting around like a shark. He's always there when you need him, just like right now. Me this ball in the air and he's going to steal that one out from Polar, forcing them to reset and it's, even the reset is going to get disrupted by Barris and all of a sudden hey we're all the way back on orange side with the Saints all triple committing and Fesh going for a beautiful shot it's just going to miss and he was also just out of the way for the rebound shot but Christian not to be discounted is already scooping it back up taking it back to orange along the Saints to go for another shot attempt and another disruption coming up from Fesh preventing the Harrisburg from taking this to blue and again we're back to orange it's just a constant game of disruption and capitalization off of those plays. Can Besh get that shot? He's going to go for it, but Nexus already in position to get the save. Going to bounce off of the top of Besh's car. Barris cruising that one through would have been an immaculate shot. I don't even think that would have coordinated, but it was still so close from being an excellent goal, but unfortunately not able to line up the shot perfectly. But now Christian trying to get that one. They're going to go for a nice set, almost like volleyball, waiting for the spiker to come through off the corner. Can Christian get the shot? No. Nexus is going to get a nice clean save and one again we're back to blue we are back to blue but the saints are not feeling blue as they're about to get another goal but a beautiful save by polar saves the day with one minute left on the clock harrisburg needs to find a goal needs to find something quick time is running out ticking slower and slower 
and slower. But for the Saints, it feels like time is speeding up, back up to pace. They want to end this one quickly. I mean, things are looking very scary for them. There's a lot of pressure coming out from Harrisburg. They need to get one. They need to get one soon. So they're throwing everything they have at the wall here. Polar has it back in their hands. And wow, Christian finds an opening here, but Tor Corel finds a beautiful save. A double save, in fact, as Barris finds the follow-up. But one more from Vesh. There's three players on the team, three shots on the goal. Is anyone there to play the defense? Yes, it's going to be Christian with the clear 20 seconds left on the clock. Now, Neil, can you believe this? I absolutely can. We've been talking about how the goal team has been playing so well, so consistently so far, and I am not surprised with how this game is going. Harrisburg University, a strong, dominant team in the Khalid Rocket League space, and so far they are facing down the wrath of the goal team when they are playing confident and playing comfortable, taking this one 2-0 against Harrisburg University. I wonder if the Saints are going to be able to carry that momentum forward and win the next one as well. It's all up in the air. You never know, especially against Harrisburg. They looked very good in that game, but Gold just looked better. They got the early lead and were able to just use that to their advantage the entire game. They're able to play so much more offensively oriented, and they got that second goal. That's when they really just shot into the next level. Harrisburg could not catch up at all. They could not find any good footing there. Sure, they had some good shots on the goal. But the Saints just had a perfect rotation going, and nothing was going to stop that momentum. Yeah, nothing was going to stop the momentum. They weren't able to find an answer, not even able to find one on the board. When the Saints get going, they really get going. They don't slow down for anything. It doesn't matter what you say, what you do. Do, they are going to chase those goals and all those opportunities and we saw already how disruptive Barris is against the enemy team always in their face always swiping their passes and tipping the ball as it's going through the air into the perfect setup shot Vesh doing much the same and we already doesn't even need to be said how good Christian is at getting these goals you have to be very good at getting these goals in order to win. That's the name of the game. You just need goals. You don't really need to be good at anything else. If you can get more goals than the enemy team, you're going to end up winning. Sure, you're going to have the best defense, but if you're not getting those goals, it's not going to quite work out for you, is it? And now, Christian is going to be carrying this one down. The lane here being very, very quick, very offensively oriented. Harrisburg showing up that defense, not letting the Saints get any early goals. As they know, that's their win condition. Harrisburg trying to find an early goal of their own. Gets a nice setup, but a good disruption by Christian. It's going to save them a little bit longer. Yeah, and right now... Saints, they haven't been able to find that magic of that seven second goal like they did in that first game, but still looking comfortable, looking confident. We're seeing T. Corral taking the Barris down, and that almost affords them an opportunity for a goal, but so far they haven't been able to nail it. Vash with the double save actually, finding the save, and then as he's carrying for the rebound, goes through and he's able to save that one once again. 3.50 on the clock. Uh, and Saints still carrying their momentum from that first game, trying to get that overwhelming advantage that they were able to find and make it this game's reality as well. Christian carrying this one all the way to Orange. Can he get the shot? Yes, he does. He's able to make sure he's able to control the ball and prevent anybody from being able to find a nice save on it. Just able to find these such precise goals. I mean, threaded the needle through two members on Harrisburg University side. It's just so difficult to play against when you're up against a player like Christian. He just knows and sees that line and can carry it all the way through until the end. He's seen something right now, but they've disrupted right away. Barris trying to get his hands right back in the game here. Going to back off a little bit. Let Vesh cook a little something up here. Taking it slow. Slow cooker. And now Barris going to get one off the backboard and dunk it in from up above. 16 on the clock, Saints with two already, and we're right back to the previous game situation, 2-0. But Harrisburg University, they can't afford to let this game go like it did in the last one. They, If they want to stay in this tournament, they have to find something. They have to do something to change the course of action. But what that something is, I don't know yet. And if they did, then they would hopefully be doing it very soon. Hopefully. That's what you're hoping for for your Harrisburg University. But if you're a Saints fan, you're hoping this keeps going their way. I mean, it's looking like nothing can stop this gold team. They are bringing it all the way here. And they have some time left to burn Harrisburg and not in an unwinnable situation. But if the defense is going to be this strong, it might as well be. 
And with such, you know what? I was gonna say such a little time with the board, but I just remembered with Rocket League, two minutes can be two years for all that matters. We already saw a seven second goal. With two minutes, a lot can get done, but not if the shots are going like this. And Harrisburg University completely dry of boost. T. Carell's finally gonna get that 100, allow him to contest with the Saints. But when you're without boost for that long, it was just basically one second, two seconds, and that allowed the Saints to already carry the ball back over to Orange and hold this offensive pressure. Vesh trying to get this one mid -air, and he succeeds. We're gonna beat out the offense from Harrisburg University, trying to keep it back on the blue. A polder catching this one mid-air, preventing all of those lineups coming out from the Saints. Vesh popping it right back over. Barris finding a mid-air, going for the shot, and with the save attempt, unfortunately tipping it right back into the net. That's two minutes on the clock. Saints are up 3-0. Harrisburg University, they should be sweating now. Harris stepping up to bat with the back-to-back -back goals, knocking it out of the park here. Get into the goal, technically, but it's going to be him stepping up to the plate, letting Christian rest on his laurels a little bit here. But it's not going to be for long, as I feel. They're not done yet. They want to keep going for these goals, and Vesh is hungry for some action, too. He's going in with reckless abandon. They have a good goal lead. Now they can just play this offensive game. Yeah, and they once they said, if I said it once, I said a million times. Once the Saints kept rolling, it's hard to stop them. Hopefully, Harrisburg University, uh, they don't take this loss too hard. If it's going to be a loss again, a minute 30, a lot of things are possible, but assuming the game keeps going the way it is right now, uh, again, it, St. Gold, these are very experienced, very high-level players, and Harrisburg University have done really well to find their way this far in the tournament as well. Saints going into their next match in the loser semifinals. They still have a couple more grueling battles to overcome. Whether or not they're going to be able to, I can't wait to figure out. But one minute left in this game. Vesh, Christian, and Barris, they fought long and hard to get this far. Hopefully they can make it all. Hopefully, but Harrisburg hoping for something different here. They want to try and make this one go their way. I mean, this is it. This is the losers quarterfinals. This is the losers bracket. You cannot lose any more games. You will be knocked out here. And with the last 30 five seconds left in this match. It's gotta be disastrous and with a double demo coming out from Vesh, this is not looking likely for Harrisburg. 30 seconds left on the clock. Christian gonna find it up there in the air, knock it right back down, making an advance towards that goal. Looks like there's gonna be a save out from next. Not gonna let that cross his path. Carell going on the offense of their desperate. They need to find something, they need to find something and quick. I mean, there's 10 seconds left on the clock. They need to make three goals just to tie this up. This is pretty much impossible at this point. The Saints now winning this game will be advancing even further. You know, that's just a flex. That's yeah. a flex from Barris right there. I, Absolutely I, I, I insane. I heard Christian yelling out <laughs> so I, I know they're happy about it. They wanted to see if they can get it done, and Barris really there to make sure it gets in. I feel like that wouldn't have happened if he didn't get that touch because it would have hit the ground, and then that would have been the game. But now, 4-0 over Harrisburg University, and with the Saints celebrating, feeling good they can hopefully carry this momentum forward into their semifinal game after this one. Yeah, wow, absolute masterclass from the gold team once again. They are looking absolutely amazing in this CRL tournament, and I mean, what could you expect? Anything less for them? No, they are in the loser's bracket, but they're making it work. They're clawing their way back to the top. Yeah, and they're clawing, they're digging, they're climbing, they're ascending to the heavens above. And again, they still have a couple more games before they can really say they've made it to heaven. And even then, they still have to fight through heaven to reach, I don't know, God's throne, I suppose. Uh, in any case, the Saints, they survive another loser's bracket game, and they have another one coming up soon. Exactly. But before we get that, we, hear me, you, and you are going to have to sit through a little bit of a break and we'll be right back with more Rocket League.